Hey guys, Ankh Gaming back with you here, and this is an update to my previous video where I was showing my massive energy condenser. Now, what we have going on here, this is uh, my underground base. Whoop, not quick enough. So I built myself a nuclear reactor here. It's uh, not ready yet though. So, but it's uh, down here underwater. I have my heavy cable coming out. I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, but uh, kind of followed a model I saw and built myself a nuclear reactor and I'm actually it's going to be a safe reactor and what I'm actually going to do this is all reinforced stone surrounded by reinforced glass and I'm just being honest I don't know how big of an explosion these things make when they blow up I this is like kind of almost double layer of um, reinforced stone so hopefully it doesn't blow up my base if it blows up which what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a mirror of just like this power plant on this room or on this wall too in there so it's going to be mirrored it may even have three down here like triple nuclear nuclear reactors all next to each other then I think I might build like a barrier wall like right about here like going just under the concrete to kind of protect down here which is where my base will be and my render distance is not far enough or something let's see video settings let's try that dark in the background. Why is it so dark? Alright, so I have um, I have a bunch of nuclear reactors. Let's get this. There we go. I'm very rich. Okay, so now I'm up in the air. So I kind of set this place up. I haven't done anything with it yet. This is going to be my underground base. I need to put in a real floor. But I made the ceilings out of glowstone just to give some extra lighting. And I don't remember how to get out. That's actually one of the reasons uh, I hadn't recorded, because i just been... I kind of put this together. I used my destruction, or my, uh, this thing. My redstone hammer. And I also have, I can fly because I have the ring, which you used to make the boots, but the boots I couldn't fly with before, but this is just way better than the boots. And then I have this thing, which is how I made the ceiling. It lets me create walls of whatever the substance is in it. So, let me go to it. So, right now it has glowstone in it. I could put any kind of like, say I wanted to make walls of tin ore. I think I can do that. Maybe not. Can I not? I cannot. That's sad. But I could make walls of stone. So say I wanted to make a section of stone. I could do that. That's actually how I filled in the floor. It's how I made the glowstone ceilings. So, check this out. It's like, uh, I would like this to be stone and all we gotta do is click uh, let's make sure we're in creative mode um, what's the button? C? nope that's how I get in there V? that's how I charge it H? there we go G creation mode so if I look in a square it'll based on like what angle I'm looking at it like if I'm looking ahead it'll make a wall up if I'm looking straight down it'll fill the ground like all empty spaces so there we go we filled it with smooth stone and we could do this to our whole floor pretty quickly. So check that out. I'm just making a floor, easy peasy. Click. So it fills in all empty spaces. Very handy tool. I don't know that I actually wanted this floor to be stone, but it is for now. Whoop! And see I just actually made another level of it. Which, that's problematic because there's no easy way to get rid of it. But I can always use this. I can charge up my hammer, set it to wide shot, and charge it up. Let's get down on the ground, and I can just go, bam! Whoops, I clicked the wrong one. Uh, don't right click, or else it'll destroy all stone, but left click is what I needed to do. There we go, cleared that out. Let's uh, get over here. So there we go, see it's uh, breaking three by three sections pretty quickly. So, well, since we made, <coughs> excuse me, since we made this mess, let's just fix it real quick. Check out how easy this is to fix. So, let's lower down a little bit. And, what, one more? My problem is I took out some of that wall and I'm stuck in the floor. There we go, we're out. I don't even know what's in this condenser. Let's check. A uh, bunch of diamonds. I don't even know what I stuck in there to make all these diamonds. We'll make a bunch more. Actually, that's, yeah, it's fine, whatever, I don't care. And I have a quantum 
armor suit. Basically, I'm invulnerable now. I can fly. I am essentially a god. And say, like, I'm like, oh, man, I kind of like the real truth. I don't know how to get out of my base. I don't know where the exit is. My home is over there. So let's just do this. We'll make ourselves an exit. And I don't want this thing to be so charged, so decharge it. Actually, we'll charge it. We're going to change its mode to normal. And let's get out of here. Fly. Alright, so we're just getting out of here. We'll just fly out. We're pretty far underground, actually. I dug, like, all the way down to the bottom of the earth. So, I'm just digging straight up. I could hit lava, I wouldn't die. Like I said, my guy's basically a god right now. I shouldn't starve, but I can. Okay, so I haven't done a whole lot out here. I don't know, I never gave you guys like a full tour. So, now that I can fly, it's much nicer. Oh man, I love flying. Not just like hovering, but actual flying. So this is my wheat farm. It's spiffy wiffy. Makes way more wheat than I'd ever need. My tree farm. And I had an obsidian portal out here, but I broke it down. This is my original mines. They're down here. Let's just go down there. Actually, I uh, I went crazy with this thing, this hammer, and I blew everything up kind of down here. We'll go look real quick. So, uh, yeah, this is how I mined. My original caves were down here, and I did originally this with the destruction catalyst, and then I decided it would be more fun just to blow everything to pieces. So this is where my other tunnel comes down. So I used to have actual pathways, and I used to actually, you know, do it normal. But then I, like, here's the destruction catalyst. Like, I destroyed, like, a hallway there. I destroyed some hallways here. And then I got this hammer, and I just went crazy, because, uh, check this out. I'm just going to right-click walls. Uh, come on. Why isn't it working? Do I not have any charge? Hey, get off me. I don't have anything, I don't have any fuel for it, so I have fuel in this thing, so let's take it out. We'll put my Klein Star in my inventory, and we'll show you kind of what I mean. I was just running around doing this, like, just going nuts. Woo! Woo! I'm not even collecting any of this. Big waste. But, uh, yeah, I just destroyed all that. And you can see some cool minerals, I, there's tons of resources on the ground. I literally don't need resources ever, because my energy stars upstairs, they make pretty much everything I could ever need. So, you know, and if I really need some kind of resource, I can go looking for it, like if I need uranium or tungsten, but I can actually create those in my condenser, so it's irrelevant. So let's get out of here. Yeah, this stuff is just stupid overpowered, I'm going to be honest. And I, if I was playing on a Tekkit server, I could only imagine how much havoc I would actually cause. I actually, I got lost when I was down mining, and I had no clue where I was. So we'll show you how I got home. I have my marker showing where my home is. This is, uh, what I did. I, did I come out over here originally? No. I came out, like, down here or something. So I was just like, what's the quickest way home? And I'll just recreate it. Um, where's my destruction catalyst? Do I even have it with me? No, I don't. Well, this is another way. This is how I was doing it. So, mega impact mode. We'll just recreate. I'm like, oh, home's that way. I was being chased by monsters. I was had no food, so I was just like, uh, wait. Just like, nope. I had my catalyst, so I was just destroying everything. Well, I could do it with this. Let's tone it down. So, you know, just like, oh, must get out, must get out. Oh, it has no charge. Oh, gotta get home. Gotta get home, guys. Whew. Gotta get home. And, oh, there's, there's a mountain in my way here. Well, we gotta get home, though. Gotta get home quickly. Meow. So now we're home. Yeah, so, wanton destruction. And this Klein Star basically will never run out of energy. I can, oh yeah, I gotta show you guys the whole point of this. 
here's the finished massive reactor. This is my super omega star. So there we go. That has like 50, 64, something like that collectors in it. I can't remember. It's at least 36. I thought it was more than that. But yeah, I completed it. It was actually a big pain in the butt. Oh, this building I actually made using the Mercurial Eye, which is the uh, thing right here. I just put a diamond block in it, and I made it. I just... And I... You can see my Omega Star here. Still full charge, basically, because that's how much charge those things hold. They hold a lot of charge. And you could go in here. It's kind of tough to get in. I don't know why. So, yeah. I don't know what the point of this is. What's the point of anything, right? It's hard to get out. Fly! So I actually haven't left the server on a lot lately. Um, and I may have harvested out of this recently, so let's try the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're just going to break in here and see if we can... Oh, I'm holding way too much stuff. Let me get rid of some stuff. I, oh, and I have... Uh, I've gave myself op on my server, so... I actually... Like for some stuff, I just give it to myself instead of bothering to go and condense it. It's pointless at this point. Like if I need some tin or something, whatever, I'll just make it. Because well, let's just go look at my main condenser. Give you an idea. Now I haven't cracked open my star lately, but if you go in here and look at my main condenser or my alchemy table, uh, you can't see the CMC it has in it right now. So let's just throw something dirt. Throw some dirt in there. Oh, it has 600 million. And it, this Klein star, I'll I'll just buy myself another. So 679 million. So these cost what, like 20 million? Not even. Yeah, more than 20 million. Yeah, I can just buy them whenever I want. No big deal. Stuff like this, though, I have to actually make the conductive pipes. So sometimes I just give myself those for free. Like these reactors, I did that. I just didn't want to go through all the hassle of crafting stuff because I can I can craft anything I want. But I, do, I build legitly, for the most part. I don't use my world editor too much. I just use these equipment, and even then sometimes I do it manually. Like the reactor, I built completely manually. You have to. Um, so yeah, we got lots of stuff. Let's just go crack this open now. So let's go for one I probably haven't used as lately. How about this? Um, there we go. So this has 19 red matter furnaces in it. It's ridiculous, to be honest. Where's the other thing? Condenser. Or, uh, collector. So let's put this back together. So how much are these furnaces worth? Well, let's go look. Because I don't know, it's, it's a lot. Let's just dump these in here real quick. So we'll put one in, so we're at 577. So a little, about 3 million, is that what it was? 580120. So 2.5 million is how much those are worth. And the core of that thing has more in it. Oh, this is uh, me failing with some build craft. What do I have in here? Oh, I have 100. Literally, I haven't been running my server very much at all. If I'd left this on over the last week, I would have billions. Oh, I can't put that in there. Put these in there. So yeah, I'd have I'd have billions of EMC to spend. So just to give an equivalent, um so I can't do math. Oh, this I created all this myself. All these batteries. This is all manually created. So I can create all the stuff I need for build craft. I just am too lazy. So to give an idea, a single diamond is worth about 800,000 EMC, and I have almost 800 million EMC. Like if I, you know, with these things I have on me, and if I turned all my stuff in right now, I'd have over 800 million EMC, just for simple math. So what's that? I have like 100,000 diamonds worth of EMC. Is that is my math right? So, like, farming here is kind of pointless now, but I could if I wanted. 
And I don't even collect rubber because, well, what is he doing on top of the tree? What are you doing up here? Check this out, I can blow wind at him. Did you see that? I'll let them, I'll let them attack me. Actually, they don't blow up because I turned off explosions on my server. And disappear. <laughs> this is the quarry I built. I don't know if it's running right now. It blew up on me, actually. I set it up, and uh, the redstone engines over... The combustion engines exploded, so it didn't get very far. We got some cows in it. What the heck? Some wolves. So anyways, come get me, doggy. They can't hurt me. And then this thing has an AoE killer on it. So if I like right click, I don't ha I shouldn't have to target them. Is it active? All right, AoE will harm peaceful aggressive. Pew. So all I got to do is hit one guy. Come here. Oh, come on. What? Why isn't it working? Why are you not working? Well, harm aggressive only. For some reason, it doesn't want to work. I've actually had this bug with it a lot. Come get me, Wolfie. Come get me. Yeah. I'm missing. I'm awful. Alright, so I was going to build this quarry even bigger than this, but I didn't realize there was a size limit. And I was going to have this fuel my laboratory over here, and I was going to do some industrial craft stuff. But I decided to take it underground, so... Oop, why did I do that? Also, I don't drown. FYI. Literally, I'm invulnerable. The only thing that can hurt me is starvation. And I... You know, food, no big deal. I can go and murder the whole village. Like, watch this. I don't know what that noise is. Yeah, just murder everything. It's like, oh, I'm gonna clear all the leaves, guys. No worries. I'm destroying my landscape. That's awful of me, but... You know, whatever. Let's get rid of some wood. Pew! Pew! Nope, I don't like this tree. Get out of here, tree. So yeah, that's uh, the massive energy build. This is my private server. I'm crazy and destructive and blowing everything up, but uh, I will be building some cool stuff, some automated redstone power stuff, or um, industrial mine, what is it called, industrial craft stuff, down in the secret base. Just because, uh, you know, why not? I just want to see what all I can do with it. I'm not very good at this stuff. I'm not like... Uh, person who actually studies engineering and electrical circuits and all that. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm awful with redstones. Let's be honest. I can barely do uh, pistons to make a piston door. Like, that's a challenge for me. So, it's a challenge. I'm having fun doing it. Thanks for checking this out, guys. I will be showing you more as I do more. But I did want to show the completed build. It doesn't look as cool as I envisioned it. It looks kind of like... It's not, because of the colors, it's not as multidimensional as I was hoping. Like, you can't see the lines as well as I would have hoped. But, it's good enough. Thanks for watching, guys, and tune in next time as I continue, I don't know, being crazy. Thanks, guys. I'll give me out.